right, so step one, I get all my layout done. Uh, even lay out the bulkheads on the floor, okay. Um, shoot your, step two is shoot all your bottom track down. You go on a pin uh, for three and five eighths, a pin on either end, and then every 16 inches. Um, okay, you get your, your openings laid out for doors and headers. And as you're coming back doing top track, cut your headers. So now what I'm gonna do is start laying out my 16s, okay? And then I'll put the top track and I'll start cutting my top track. And what I'll do, for example, is I'll cut, cut the, the top track to, to tab over to that wall and I will cut uh, a header for here and so on, okay? And like I was saying, I will cut a tab on this side to go over this wall at the top as well you'll see i think i can do that all right so now i've drawn out all of my 16. so seeing that i'm working by myself now on this job uh, i just went ahead and laid out all my centers first and i'm going to hop up and i'm going to start putting in 10 foot sections of track this is 12 foot ceiling so i gotta start cutting stud i got a new saw boys the makita look at that you can miter with it Okay, I, I like this. My my old one died, and now that I got my son too coming, I feel better with the safety uh, on this one. It's got the toolless uh, blade change, which is going to be so freaking handy. Um, but yeah, I've always, I love these. Are my favorite saws because of the handles, boys. The handles on these are the are the best for cutting. Like it's just oh man, I love this saw. Uh, yeah, the Dewalt finally died, so I can justify buying it. <laughs> the Makita, that's the one I would recommend to anybody. All right, boys, so yeah, working alone. I'm, I'm gonna do this back furring wall uh, 10 foot at a time, okay? And that's just because it's easier for me to do by, when I'm working alone. But uh, you can see I'm going, I have all my top track done as well. And I've cut, pre-cut the tabs over top on either end and I have the fishtail which I will I will screw this one together because what I'm gonna do is I'll frame this and this and then I will I'll put like a stud in the middle and my baker and I can put this whole section on at one time and then what else oh yeah uh, yeah just to show you right I got all my track uh, done layouts done um, Okay, I, I, I got all this done. Basically, I'll put I'll come off that wall, come off that wall, and then I'll put this uh, this middle piece in. Um, what else? Oh, headers already pre-cut. Everything's pre-cut. The headers for the door, everything's good to go. I'm gonna hop up on the old baker and give her. All right, so progress, you guys can see I got all my tops screwed in. I'll screw off all my bottoms at the end, but the furring walls are complete on the back and the, the side here. It was a pain in the butt with the, with the baker without the concrete. But yeah, on this way here, I just screwed the track to the joists, right? Laser up my end. Uh, I double checked this end, but I've already pre-screwed the whole length of the top together. But yeah, I just screw it to the joists and then yeah, screw my studs in. On the ends here now, I'm gonna do the, the two end walls, okay? These two end walls, you kind of see how I'm gonna go here. I got this one done here. Uh, I'm lasering up the, the very end with a pin laser there and I got the line laser to shoot the top. That's again across the joists. I'm gonna drop back here, screw, like, screw the wall stud in, put this this track in and then I have this piece all ready to go and it'll literally just go uh, I got clips for in between the studs ready to go it's 22 half in the center so I have these clips cut they will just go up like so uh, between the joists like that so that I can screw the track to it all right so I got the three walls up for the bathroom uh, using the clips at the top for the long one in the middle. I got three clips there in the middle <coughs> Excuse me, and then yeah, I just screwed in the ends the corners after I after I lasered up each each corner Right, I just matched the track and I still put a laser to get to make sure the the middle was good, but it's looking good 
Now I'm gonna to try to do the middle wall. This is the, the last high wall. And it should attach from uh, the top of there to the top of there. It's gonna be a little funky at the end because that pipe is right where the wall is. So you'll see what I'm gonna do for the last uh, two studs, okay? I'm gonna do uh, like a header to a clip and then I'll have those two studs. But I'm hoping the top track will slide right over. All right, so I got all the major, all the full tops in. So all, all the full tops are in, screwed in. Uh, walls are up. Now I jump onto headers. Okay, so I got an opening in here for a digital soup board. So uh, I'll be putting in headers there. There's my opening for the back bar. So I'll be putting a header in there. And of course for the door. And then when the headers are done, I'll start on the big bulkhead. And then when I'm done the bulkhead, I'll screw off all the bottoms. So I'm, if you kind of see how it goes, I work from top down. Um, when I'm doing headers, okay, I will screw in the, the studs where I'm working, okay, uh, in the bottom, but uh, I, I won't go around screwing them all off until the very end. Okay, all the headers are done, and now it is bulkhead time, and then I'm done. Not bad. I should be able to have this all licked today by myself. Might be a late night, but that's okay. I'm already checked into my hotel. Uh, I'm gonna go get some beers right now, so I, I don't have to worry about the beer store closing. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get our lick tonight, boys. Uh, you can see this is for the digital soup screen, or the, yeah, right? So they have like a soup menu here, it's digital. Um, I'm gonna drywall return it, okay? And then it'll be drywall across the back. And at the top there, if you can see how uh, it ran into a pipe this way, okay? I uh, just put another like a header, okay? A header across to the this stud. It doesn't have to be slip track there, it's just I wanted to use it. I put a clip uh, on this wall here. I put a clip between the two studs on this side, okay? You can see uh, right up here, this going this way, to catch the track at the top. But yeah, you know, just, it is what it is, eh? Don't overthink things, just get it done, and yeah, it'll turn out good. So that header is at the size of the bulkhead, so I'm thankful it's actually a small bulkhead. I'm hoping I can do this quick, like in like, uh, in like three or four hours, I'll be done. I think it's like four o'clock now, so if I'm done by eight o'clock, nine o'clock, I'm laughing. All right, working away, I got the one bulkhead done. So I gotta drop another one. I got all the top track on first, right? So you can see how it comes here and down just like the other chopped leaves. Um, I'm putting the, the track on here for the ceiling as well. So when I'm coming along doing this one, I don't have to brace it. I just me I can just measure across and put a stud in, you know what I mean? Let's, track, let's put, keep putting this track in and that'll tighten that up type deal, but <clears throat> Yeah, boys, so I gotta get this bulkhead done. Now I gotta do another one in front and then the two ends and a uh, ceiling in the bathroom and screw off some bottoms and then I'm done. But holy shit. And you can see I put clips up in there uh, where, where the, you know, for the, to carry the bulkhead. All right, got the other side done. Now I'll do the two ends and then I'll do the ceiling in between. But yeah, getting there. All right, it's finally, it's almost 10 o'clock at night and it's complete. There's the bulkhead. I completed the bulkhead and the ceiling and then came down and screwed off all my bottoms. But yeah, there she is, complete. All by myself in one day. Whew. How many other guys you know can do this much in one day? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Whew.